Hey, welcome to part three of the Woo Tickets new user primer. You're moving along real well, and I'm so proud of how far you've come. Just to recap, in the last section, we did review actually setting up our first ticketed event and publishing that ticketed event. That's what we're looking at on the screen right here. We're going to shift gears for this step and go through the process of actually purchasing a ticket from the perspective of a buyer. This is going to allow you to see what your buyers will go through every time they order a ticket on a site where you've configured them using the events calendar in WooCommerce. I'm going to set the ticket count at two. I want to buy two of these. I can do that by either simply typing in the number or using the plus minus. I'll hit add to cart. And when I do so, it'll take me over to the cart itself where I can review what I just added. I can make some changes if I wish to. I could apply a coupon. I could wipe both those tickets in one fell swoop by hitting this X. I could adjust the quantity otherwise, up or down. Either way, if I need to make changes, this is really my last spot to do so. I don't need to make any changes. I know I want these two tickets, so I'm going to hit proceed to checkout. On the checkout screen, I need to fill in my billing address. Any of the fields with the red asterisk is required. I can see but not modify my order. And I can choose the payment method. Now these might not be the payment methods you see depending on how you've configured WooCommerce. These are the basics right out of the box. And I'm going to go with something simple like check payment. Hit place order. And when I've done so, and the system registers as much, it knows that my order has been received. Now it's worth noting that certain payments, like a check payment, are not going to be immediately processed. A check payment, if you gave people the tickets right when they said they sent a check, you'd be taking a huge leap of faith. And so while orders like PayPal are automatically processed and it goes through PayPal registers, the system knows that the user has actually completed their purchase, with check payments and certain other types, you are going to have to finalize things to actually complete the purchase manually on your end as a site admin. So take off your buyer hat, switch back to your site admin hat, and let's go in and actually process this order. Right now, it has been received, so the system knows that it's there, but it's not complete. Getting back into the back end of my site, I'm going to go into the WooCommerce menu, and I'm going to hit Orders. And in doing so, you'll see I have two orders, one that's completed that was already processed a while ago, and another that's on hold, which is the one that we just placed. It's on hold until that check payment comes through. Well, let's say that I received that check payment today. I would come into my WooCommerce orders list, check the box next to this on hold order, and go up to the bulk actions drop down. Hit mark completed, hit apply. And once it goes through and changes that orange button to a purple one, you'll know that that order is officially completed and the buyer has received their follow-up email confirming that the purchase is finished and containing their tickets. That's this process. Now we only have one more step in our next screencast and that's going to be what you do the day of the event, what both you as a site admin and what the attendee does once the event is taking place. See you over there.